Half a World Away by Libby Glesson, illustrated by Freya Blackwood. Amy and Louie built towers as high as the sky. They dug holes deep enough to bury bears, and they saw magical creatures in clouds. When Amy was in the sandbox and Louie was on the swing, she called to him across the yard with the special word her mother taught her. Cooey! Louie! Louie always came to play. When Louie was in the dressing room, dressing up corner, and Amy was with the Play-Doh, he called to her across the room with the same special word. <coughs> Cooey! Amy! Amy always came to play. And when they were at home, they called to each other across the fence. Cooey! Louie! Cooey! Amy! One of them would soon come climbing through the gap with secrets to share. But one day, Amy and her family moved a long, long way away. to the other side of the world. Louis stopped building towers, digging holes and staring at clouds. He no longer called to anyone across the yard, the room, or the fence. He thought about Amy every day and every night. In the place where Amy was, there was nowhere to dig holes or build towers, and the clouds held n only raindrops. She thought about Louie every night and every day. If I call Amy really loudly, she'll hear me, won't she? Louie asked his mom. His mom shook her head. Amy is too far away. She said, when you are awake in the day, she is asleep at night. If I call Amy really, really loudly, she'll hear me, won't she? He asked his dad. His dad shook his head. Amy is half the world away, he said. When she is awake in the day, you are asleep at night. If I call Amy with the loudest call anyone could ever, ever do, She'll hear me, won't she? He asked his grandma. Maybe, his grandma said. You can only try. So Louis spread his arms as wide as he could and threw back his head. Cooey! Amy! His cry rang out across the yard across the street and past the edge of town. Louis fell back and stared up at the sky where clouds were making strange seahorses and wild, wild dragons. Across the ocean, in a city where tall buildings stretched to the sky, Amy woke and came sleepily to breakfast. I had a lovely dream, she said. I dreamt about Louis and he called me. Half a world away, Louis slept, smiling in his dream. <laughs>